Hey, what's up everybody? East Philly here. Today, I want to explain a little bit what my new series is that you've been seeing on Mondays, WR Exploration. Uh, It's going to be pretty much the mechanical and modification videos for my 2007 Subaru WRX, which you're seeing me in right now. I've gotten a few comments about the videos of how a few of them are too long, and I agree that they're very long, but I've kind of been doing that on purpose. I've kind of been going through, not exactly step by step, but the process that I physically am taking through these modifications and the mechanical things that I'm doing. The reason I'm doing it that way for a lot of my videos is mainly to kind of be that layperson for how to do it. I see a lot of videos myself when I'm searching for instructions on how to install something, how an add-on is supposed to work, the process, that they give steps, but there's a lot of fine little detail that people don't mention that they don't think about. It's step one, unbolt these screws. Step two, take this piece off. Step three, yada, yada, yada. And a lot of times there's little details in there that you don't really think about unless you're physically doing it and that some other people won't physically see until they start doing it. And then they have to keep looking at the video over and over again. So I've been making my videos as if someone is kind of just watching me over my shoulder and seeing exactly what I'm doing. They're learning by example and not just by a information sheet with steps. <clears throat> my plan is to go through some of my older videos where I am kind of going through everything and shortening them down to a step-by-step guide so that it is a two and a half to three minute long video compared to my 11, 12 minute long videos. That way, people that have some idea of what they're doing already can just reference the step-by-step video. And if I remember, I'll put each step individually in the comments or the the description of the video with timestamps so people can just say, okay, I've already got the, the, say, when I'm doing my downpipe, I've got the intercooler off, which isn't the hard part. Now I need to get the heat shield off the, the turbo. So that I click on removing heat shield from turbo in the description. And then they're pretty good at the third and fourth steps, but they need a little bit of idea on the fifth step, so they click on step five, whatever that is. At this point, I'm kind of just looking at videos that I've watched and then thinking how I felt watching them and then how I felt when I actually tried to do that same thing to to pretty much follow the footsteps of the video I watched and just dive in with it and I there's a lot of times I was getting frustrated there's a lot of times where step by step doesn't help because there's something that unless you're doing it you don't think about again when I was doing my intercooler I had it off and I couldn't get it back on for like an hour and I realized hey it's cold out the tubing probably got a little stiffer from being from when the engine was on and the tubing was warmed up until now when it's cold out, it was very hard for me to get the intercooler back on. So I just took the heat gun that I had, heated up the the tubing a little bit, not too much, and I was able to slide it right on very easily. That's not something you would really get in a step-by-step video. And it's not something a lot of people have come across to think about, hey, maybe this is a little tip I should give when I'm talking about this process. I just think that the more in depth you are in a video, when someone's watching, the better, at least for their initial view of the video. Uh, I'm not expecting someone, one person to watch my 12 minute long video three times so that they have to keep scrolling through and figuring out exactly where they were in the step or exactly what I did. I want them to maybe watch it once, the full video, see exactly what I did and then look through my timestamps and say, hey, this is the part I actually need help on. This is how he explained it. This is a maybe a subsection of that part with a tip or a trick on how to do it a little easier or how to do it if it's cold out versus when it's warm out. 
things like that. Yeah, that's just pretty much what my WR exploration videos are going to be. A little bit more of a deep dive than a normal person's video. I am going to still work on cutting it down. I don't think most of my stuff really needs 12 minute videos. It could go to eight minutes for a nice deep dive type of video, unless it's something that you really need more time to explain. Uh, and I do plan on, again, making more step-by-step -step oriented videos, as well as timestamps in the description just to help people skip around a little bit easier so they're not just sitting there trying to figure out what I'm doing or what step I'm on, or maybe I do my steps in a different order than most people. I don't know, but I'm gonna be working on that to make all these videos a bit better for the viewers. And that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, I tried not to ramble on too much about it. It's pretty cut and dry. And I know I repeated myself a little bit, but it's kind of just in the theme of what I'm talking about. Anyway, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. And if you did dislike it, that's okay. But please let me know in the comments down below why so I can make this channel better for both you and me. Again, I'm East Philly, and I'll see you next time.